Sonic, first of all, congratulations for uh, for making the final. Uh, this should be played um, at the Stoop on Sunday. Um, it was some game against Litchfield last last week to come from behind and and see your team win. How proud of you as, as captain to to see your side win that one? Oh, yeah, I mean, I've, it felt amazing um, to be on the winning side. Um, as you said, it's a really tough game, and um, after having a bit of a talking to at half time by our coach. Um, Beast, we uh, turned it around and came out there to see the girls. Um, some of the girls that are uh, new to the squad, some of our young um, players that have just broken into England to be like in that game-changing second half. Yeah, it made me really proud to be part of that team. It's really good preparation for us that Litchfield gave us such a hard game and like took us really close to the wire. Um, we had to work out a lot of things like on and off the pitch. Um, we didn't panic, which was good. We stuck to our processes and, and we came through with a win. So yeah, we're really chuffed with that. Of course, Richmond in the final. Um, is, is Would you say that's a bit more of a more of a grudge match than a, than a final, since the, uh, considering the, the history between the two teams? Yeah, definitely. There's a lot. There's been a lot of chat about it. Um, obviously, um, there's a big history between both clubs, a um, bit of a London rivalry and big history. As we've played them for a number of years, it's usually top of the table clash. So it just makes it even more exciting. Finals are exciting, but Richmond Sarri is even more exciting. It takes a lot to end up at the top of the Premiership and it's not, it doesn't happen by accident. Um, they're a really good side, um, they're good at what they do. I think we both play quite different brands of rugby, so I think it will be a, 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 good, a good spectacle on Sunday. It's um, being shown live on, um, on Sky Sports uh, 5, which is the first time that's, that's ever happened. Um, how massive is that for, for the women's game of, uh, of rugby? Yeah, it's fantastic for um, women's rugby and women's sport, not just rugby. And um, to have two top teams in that final will hopefully be an excellent display of um, how good both teams are. So you know, whoever wins, it will be great for the game, obviously. We want ourselves to win. A lot of the England girls now, the England games get shown on Sky and get to play at Twickenham and stuff like that. Obviously, here at Saris, we're really lucky. We play at Allianz and we do all our training here and stuff as well. Um, but yeah, a massive boost that it's being shown on Sky. It's really good for the sport. Well, um, will some of the girls feel a little bit bit nervous because of that? Is it some of the girls who might not be used to used to that? I think there'll be a lot of nerves going into such a big game. Anyway, it's a big final. It's us and Richmond again, kind of battling it out. But um, I think any nerves that are there will get put to put to bed pretty quickly um, once once the game gets underway. So hopefully it will just build and be good good atmosphere instead. We've, um, we've seen a lot of support from from the men's team as well. Um, Alex Good um, sending a tweet out of of, uh, of good luck and, and congratulations after you beat Litchfield. Um, how, how nice is that to to see and, and feel that support of, of, of all the Saracens clubs? Right? Yeah, it, it's really good. Um, we're so lucky here at Saris. Um, we've got we're well supported by our men's team and they do tweet us and send us good luck messages and stuff like that. And it's it's great. It's it's really nice. Yeah, and it's fantastic to be part of, as you say, one club. As you know, I've been this is my 14th season at Saris and it's always been like that. Um, but obviously more recently being here at Allianz, um, having the support of the men's club is helping raise the profile, but also just gives the girls a bit more confidence going into big games like this weekend. So you've um, been at Allianz for a couple of seasons now. Um, for the for the game, for you guys uh, as a team, how, how big has that been uh, training here on, on that pitch? Yeah, massive. I mean, training in world-class facilities every week, we're obviously going to be um, one step ahead of everybody else. And I just hope that other premiership clubs follow in the footsteps of Saris and um, support women's sport, women's rugby and, and follow suit. And finally, Georgie, how have preparations been going into this uh, this final? Like you said, there'll be, be some nerves there, but have things been going well so far? Yeah, really well. Um, we know that we've got bits and pieces to build on from last weekend's game. As I said before, we're quite body hardened and that was a really tough game to come through, so we take a lot of positives from that. But um, we, we have worked hard this week. Um, we've looked at our set piece and different things, so we're, we're ready for the weekend, definitely.